Okay, what we've done here is we've treated uh, some tile products and, and, a, and a slate product with the Tile Doctor Shield uh, some time ago and it exposed it to the elements to uh, show what happens over a period of time with, with uh, certain conditions. So on this one is a 24 by 24, a double loaded porcelain tile with, a, with some glazing elements to it, but a rough surface to kind of show you what happens over time. Uh, we treated this diagonally, as you can probably, it's easy to tell which, which side's treated, not only to keep itself fairly clean uh, from the dirt, which is on part of this tile here, but it also kept it free of the mold and mildew and algae that's formed and I don't know if the color's coming out good on here, but this is very green in here, and then there's some dark, dark uh, black mold that's formed in here. So you can tell that it's, it's worked real well there. This one we exposed to a little bit different element, but the result is the same. This was more of a fungal chamber type of event, and you can see where we treated to here. This area's kept itself fairly clean, but this area has algae all over it. So the... Uh, the slate's a pretty telling example too. There's no sealer on this, it's just a natural slate from India. And we treated this side and then exposed it to a high degree of moisture and algae. And you've got some minerals that have come to the surface here, which is pretty characteristic, but you can tell the difference in the, in the algal bloom that took place on the surface. So what this demonstrates is not only the self-cleaning properties, but the antimicrobial properties of it and how the, the treated area do, does not allow the growth of mold and mildew and algae and even bacteria.